Hi again. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on carbohydrates. We are going to focus our attention, however, on cereals which constitute a major portion of our diet. The big idea that we are going to be discussing today relates to whole grains and refined grains and which one of them is better for us. But before we get too deep into that discussion, we need to understand what whole and refined grains actually are. So what are whole grains? Well, these are grains as they grow naturally from the earth. These have not been refined or processed in any manner. If you look at the anatomy of the whole grain, it consists of three major components. Bran, germ and endosperm. Now quite clearly we don't have to memorize this, but knowing about the three components of the whole grain will help us understand why they are better for us. So. What we're going to do now is run a simulation where we're going to split open the whole grain into two halves and then pinpoint the location of the three components, the bran, the germ and the endosperm accurately. So here we go. And here is that simulation. What you're looking at now is one half of the whole grain that has been split open into two halves. Now I'm going to drag the mouse pointer over the three different components of the whole grain. The first of which is the bran. The bran forms the outer protective layer of the seed. It contains some important minerals and vitamins and also contains most of the seed's fiber. Fiber is needed to prevent constipation. The second component of the whole grain is the germ. That's the germ right there, which is also the reproductive kernel of the seed. The germ contains many helpful minerals and vitamins that our body needs. And finally, that's the endosperm. The endosperm makes up the bulk of the seed and this is the part of the seed that provides us with the stored energy. Okay, so that simulation provided some detail into the anatomy of the whole grain. We now know that whole grains provide us with energy but also contain bran and germ which in turn have fiber and helpful minerals and vitamins. So what are some of the examples of whole grains? Well, here they are. Whole wheat, brown rice, whole rye, rolled oats are all examples of whole grains. Now that we know a little bit about one part of the whole grains versus refined grains debate, let's investigate the other side a little bit. What are refined grains? Refined grains are the grains that during the milling process are stripped off of the bran and the germ. This means they're only left with the endosperm. Now, the answer to the question which grains are better for us, whole grains or refined grains, is already starting to get clear. Whole grains are better for us because whole grains contain bran and that in turn contains minerals, vitamins and fiber. Whole grains also contain germ which adds important minerals and vitamins to the grain. Refined grains on the other hand have been stripped off of most of their minerals and vitamins and almost all of their fiber. Now there is another important reason why whole grains are better than refined grains and that can be answered by asking the following question which is which grains whole or refined will take longer to digest? If you said whole grains will take longer to digest then you're absolutely correct. Think about it. Bran and fiber in the whole grain will make it more difficult for the digestive enzymes to break down the whole grain into glucose. In refined grain, however, bran and germ have already been removed and therefore some of the work of the digestive system is done even before the food goes into our mouths. So the next question we can ask is, so what? So what if the whole grains are digested more slowly? Well, since the whole grains are digested more slowly, they will provide a more constant source of energy, making us feel full for longer. This is in contrast to refined grains, mind you. The refined grains will provide a spike of energy which is generally followed by an urge to eat again. So now that we know that whole grains are better than refined grains, can you answer the question on your screen? Which one of the following products is recommended? White bread or whole wheat brown bread? The answer is whole wheat brown bread and that is because whole wheat brown bread is made of whole wheat. White bread on the other hand is made of refined wheat. My recommendation in terms of consumption of grains in your diet is that you replace refined grains with whole grains wherever it is possible. That may mean consuming a bowl of whole grain cereals in the morning for breakfast, 
eating bread that is made of whole grains uh, in the afternoon for lunch and if you want to indulge in pasta in the evening then I would recommend that that pasta be made of whole grains or whole wheat. All of these recommendations are based on research backed benefits that can be attributed to whole grains. For instance we now know that eating whole grains substantially lowers bad cholesterol and we learned in a previous video that that reduces the risk of heart disease. In a Harvard based study which was conducted over a 10 year period it was determined that women who ate 2 to 3 servings of whole grain products each day were 30% less likely to have a heart attack than those who ate less than 1 serving per day. Eating whole grains also lowers the risk of getting type 2 diabetes. This was determined in a study of more than 160,000 women whose health was followed for up to 18 years. The women who averaged 2 to 3 servings of whole grains a day were 30% less likely to have developed type 2 diabetes than those who rarely ate whole grains. Sources for all of these can be found by clicking on the link in the video description. Clearly, there is a growing body of research available now that shows that eating more whole grains and less refined grains improves health in a variety of ways. The question is, what are you going to do with this information?